Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today I'm going to be showing you how to open or load levels uh, based on certain criteria. So, um, you know, this criteria could be whether or not you reach a certain point in your level, or whether or not your character has a high enough level, or if you've killed enough enemies, or, you know, maybe if you, whether or not you have a key for a door or something, um, you know, just something along those lines. That's what we'll be covering. So. Uh, first thing we want to do is let's create a new level for us to load. So I'm going to do this by right clicking uh, in the content browser and going to level. I'm going to call this test level. Um, I'm going to save it really quick. And you could do that as well by clicking add new and adding a level. Or in, you could go to file and say new level from there as well. So uh, with this new level created, I'm going to open it up and you're gonna say it's completely black right there's nothing in it so let's go ahead and add some stuff so with the place you know the selected um, let's go to lights right and let's start adding so let's bring in a directional light um, let's also bring in a skylight uh, then we'll go to visual effects let's add a uh, post-processing you know we might need that sometime in the future um, and we'll add an atmospheric fog and now you'll see that starts adding some stuff um, and the last thing let's go to all classes and find our BP sky sphere drag that in and now with it selected we can go to the directional light actor and then choose the directional light we just added so now it'll you know make it kind of blue all right so we'll save that um, let's now add a little bit of geometry you know just so we have something to see um, and kind of run around on. So I'm going to flatten this out, make it a lot wider, you know, a big platform. Um, we'll add a couple more things, maybe some strange objects, I don't know. Something like this. I don't know, whatever. So something really simple. Um, and now the key thing, right? All of this, you know, all of this you could just completely ignore if you wanted. And the only thing that you would need to take away from this is that you need to have a player start, right? Without a player start, if you open a level um, and you don't have um, a player start or at least a character to automatically possess, um, you'll just end up flying around in your level like I am right now, all right? So make sure you add a player start. Um, so just, I'm just going to drag that in here and turn it a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now it's at a nice height, and this is where I'm going to spawn whenever the game begins. So uh, now let's go back to our um, to our uh, third-person map that we were just on. So we'll go to the third-person BP, go to maps, and we'll open that up. So we're back here now, and now uh, the first way I'm going to show you is just you know let's say you reach a certain point, um, then you know we'll let the player pass on to the next level. So let's say if they reach this point they'll go to the next level. So to do this we're gonna simply take a box trigger, drag it out, alright, and I'm gonna change the size a little bit, just like that. All right, and now when we overlap this, um, or rather we're gonna use an overlap event so that when we overlap it um, we can tell our character you know to be transported to the next level or to just open the next level. Alright, so to do this, uh, with the trigger box selected, we are going to go to Blueprints and Open Level Blueprint. Alright, now we want to right click in here and say Add Event, go to Collision and say Add On Actor Begin Overlap. Alright, so this is an event now for when something overlaps that trigger box. So what we want to do is drag off of Other Actor and Cast to Third Person Character because we want to make sure that it is our character overlapping that box. Now if it is, we're simply going to drag off and say open level. All right. And now an important thing to note here is that this level name is case sensitive, all right? And so you need to enter it exactly as you uh, called the level. So we'll go find our level. And you can see here I called it test level, no spaces, and I capitalized the first letter of both words. So I'll go type that in. All right, compile and save. And now let's test this out. 
Um, but actually first, with the you know trigger box selected, I'm going to untick actor hidden in game just so you can see it. Um, you don't have to do that. So I'll press play now and you can see the box up there. So that's my goal. I'll go run up here. Now as soon as I as soon as I overlap this box, I'm going to go into the next level. So boom. There we go. You know, I just I transported into the next level. So um, as you can see, you know, it's pretty easy to to kind of set up the basics of opening new levels. Um, so the next part I can show you is how to open levels based on certain conditions. So uh, for this example, let's um, let's take our character and let's go into the their blueprint. All right, and we're going to add a variable called player level. All right, just like this player level and then let's call it an integer and basically what we're going to do is we're going to check in our level blueprint if the player is above a certain level um, because if they are then we'll be then we'll let them open the new level so um, what we're going to do is I'm simply going to add a an event um, to increase the player's level so I'll hit one so I'm just going to use the one key and I'm going to drag off and say set player level and I'm going to set it equal to uh, a get of player level plus one. All right? And then just to visualize it, I'm going to drag off and say print string. All right, and I'm just going to print it to the screen. Compile and save. So right now it's at zero, um, and then every time I press it, it'll go up by one. So uh, all we have to do then over here is as our third person character, right, because we're already doing the cast, we want to drag off and we say get player level. And we want to check if this is, uh, you know, greater than a certain level. So we'll say greater than or equal to integer. And let's say level, um, a value of five, right? So if our, if our player is at uh, pl a level of greater than five, then we'll open this, this new level. So from this condition, let's drag off and simply say branch and then hook up the true, hook up the cast to here, and now here we go. All right. And last thing, I'm gonna just for uh, just to visualize again. Drag. I'm gonna drag off and say print string and say not a high enough level. All right. So now if I press play, I can go. I can run up here, and when I overlap this, right, it's going to tell me I'm not a high enough level. So there, I'm not a high enough level. All right. So if I press one, you know, I'll start adding on to my level. So right now I'm four, you know, so that's still not high enough. But if I press it one more time, I'm at five, and now I overlap, and I go to the next level. So, um, as you can see there, you know, it's pretty easy to set up some functionality uh, to you know open levels based on you know reaching a certain point or you know based on different criteria um, you know you could use this for you know finding if you find like a key in, you know to open up a door you could have another variable just saying yeah I found the key and then use that in the branch um, so yeah different stuff like that so thank you for watching and if you like this video um, you know consider liking and subscribing and we'll see you in the next one